Let's take a brief look at the Gage Assault Pack. This was the fifth paid weapon pack released for Payday 2, and it's all about powerful weapons for loud. Let's get to it. First up, we've got the Clarion, a Famous-type rifle. Sporting a ludicrous rate of fire, the highest of any assault rifle currently in the game, this rifle is held back by its low, non-upgradable mag size. You'll find yourself running dry and forced to reload pretty frequently. The Clarion can be modded for very high concealments without sacrificing its viability. This is helped along by a few weapon-specific boosts that increase damage or concealments by a considerable amount. Thanks to the rate of fire and concealment, this weapon sees frequent use in dodge builds, as bulldozers beware when 1,000 rounds a minute and 30% crit chance are heading your way. Next up for weapons, we have the Gecko 762, a middle-of-the-line assault rifle. Although at first glance, to some players it may seem like a worse version of weapons like the Car 4 or AK-5, due to its slower reload and lack of mag size upgrades. But think of it like this, you don't need any other DLC to make the Gecko viable. All of the mods that come with this DLC, granted while they're locked behind achievements, are still enough to make this gun work. So, if you don't own DLC such as the Mod Courier Pack, for some reason, or the AK slash Car Mod Pack, this rifle can really step up to the plate, and some of its better stats can shine through, such as its decent ammo pickup rate, stability, and fantastic hipfire accuracy. If you need a rifle that can support itself on its parent DLC alone, the get-go could do the trick. For the last rifle in this pack, we have the Gearer 3, a highly customizable battle rifle. The fascinating thing about this weapon is, by default, it's a 100 ammo, 80 damage rifle, similar to the Falcon and Eagle Heavy. However, you can mod the weapon to be one way or the other. You can either increase the mag size and ammo count substantially at the cost of having the damage, which makes it very similar to weapons like the Car 4, or have the mag size and reduce the ammo count while increasing damage significantly, making it very similar to the M308. The downside sides to this weapon, in every form, is that there are other weapons in the game that function quite similarly or even objectively better than it. The DMR version of the Gewer is beat out by the completely free M308 for instance. Not only that, but the stability and non-tactical reload of the Gewer are pretty poor. On top of this, a good amount of the mods for this weapon are locked behind the Not Today achievement, which is pretty obnoxious. It entails killing a jumping cloaker with the final weapon in this pack, which is not an easy task. That final weapon being the GL L40 grenade launcher making a return from the first game, except this time as a primary. One shot and six in reserve of 1,300 explosive damage can blast enemies away with ease. Not only is this a great answer to shields, Captain Winters, and crowds of enemies in general, but when fully modded it has shockingly high concealment, working well in a dodge build. Granted, it can't get crits, but nevertheless it is an option. There is a grenade launcher that's considerably better than the GL40, being the China Puff from the Wolf Pack DLC, but seeing as that's a heist DLC, it's a nice bit more expensive than the Assault Pack. So, if you need a cheap explosive weapon that can restore ammo indefinitely, the GL40 will do you just fine. Moving on, we have four melee weapons. The Bayonet Knife, the Compact Hatchet, the X46 Knife, and the Ding Dong Breaching Tool. The first three weapons aren't much to care about, but the Ding Dong has very high knockdown. While electric brass knuckles would be preferable for dominating cops, there's just something satisfying about slamming cops with your Ding Dong. Finally, we have four masks based on comic book supervillains. Black Death based on Thanos, the Crow Goblin based on Hobgoblin, Professor Wrath based on Mr. Sinister, and the Volt based on Apocalypse. Now, I'm a bit too young to have read comic books as a kid, but I'm a huge fan of Marvel movies and both DC movies, so I enjoy using these masks, especially Thanos. And that's pretty much everything. Would I recommend the Gage Assault Pack? Uh, if you're a dodge player and don't have a big budget, then I guess? The Clarion and GL40 make for pretty decent dodge weapons, and having an answer to Captain Winters is always nice. However, the other two weapons are outclassed by both free weapons and options created by other DLC such as the Mod Courier Pack. If you're not a dodge player and or you have the funds to get the Wolf Pack DLC for the China Puff Grenade Launcher, then I wouldn't recommend the Gage Assault Pack. Thanks for watching, and take it easy.